Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRVs were originally developed in early 1960s to permit a missile to deliver multiple nuclear warheads to different targets. In contrast to a traditional missile which carries one warhead, MIRVs can carry multiple warheads. The warheads on MIRV missile can be released from the missile at a different speeds and in different directions. Some MIRV missile can hit targets as far as 1500 kilometers apart. However, the development of MIRV technology is not easy. It requires combination of large missile, small warheads, accurate guidance and a complex mechanism for releasing warheads sequentially during flight. The United States was the first country to develop MIRV technology, deploying MIRV intercontinental ballistic missile in 1970 and MIRV submarine launch ballistic missile in 1971. The Soviet Union quickly followed the suite and by the end of 1970s had developed their own MIRV enabled ICBM and SLBM technology. Today, United States, United Kingdom, France uses MIRV technologies on SLBMs. China has MIRV ICBMs, while Russia deploys both MIRV ICBMs as well as SLBMs. The use of MIRVs on submarines is considered less destabilized than on land-based missiles because the difficulty of finding nuclear submarines makes strike against them unlikely. India and Pakistan are also experimenting with MIRV technology. In January 2017, Pakistan reportedly tested a MIRV missile, the Ababil. The Indian Agni class of long range ballistic missile have also been reported to have MIRV capability. This capability was officially acknowledged by PM Narendra Modi on 11th March 2024 when he informed the whole world about Agni 5 missile MIRV test via his tweet on X. The PM tweeted, and I quote, Proud of our DRDO scientist for mission Divyastra, the first flight test of indigenously developed Agni-5 missile with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV technology. With the successful test of mission Divyastra, India has joined an exclusive group of nations possessing MIRV capability, enhancing its strategic deterrence capabilities. The system boasts indigenous avionic systems and high accuracy sensors packages ensuring precise targeting of re-entry vehicles. Now, how many MIRV warheads can be carried by Agni-5 is still not very clear. The submarine-launched ballistic missile of DRDO, deriving its feature from Agni-5, can carry four MIRV warheads of 2,000 kg each. Various report indicates Agni-5 can carry two to up to 10 MIRV warhead. Agni-5 is India's most powerful nuclear ballistic missile. The intercontinental ballistic missile boasts range in excess of 7,000 km. Du Wenlong, a Chinese researcher at PLA Academy of Nutrition Science, has said that Agni-5 has potential to reach targets 8,000 km away. He believes that Indian government had deliberately downplayed the missile's capability in order to avoid causing concern to other countries. The Agni-5 missile have been primarily developed for deterrence against China. The missile can easily target the economically developed east coast of China as well as its major cities such as Beijing and Shanghai. The Agni-5 can bring almost entire Asia, including northwestern part of China, as well as some regions in northern and western Europe under its striking range. The Agni-5 is a three-stage solid fuel intercontinental ballistic missile. All three stages of Agni-5 have flex nozzle control system, which enhances the maneuverability during flight. At hypersonic speed, if the missile changes its angle by a degree, it will make its interception very difficult by Chinese anti-ballistic missile defense system. The massive missile has a length of 70 meters and diameter of 2 meters. It has launch weight of 50,000 kg with a maximum payload capacity of 1,650 kg 
and range in excess of 7000 km the payload is enough to carry fusion boosted fission warheads with a yield of 200 to 300 kilotons this massive warhead and its devastating power can be understood from the atom bomb used by us on hiroshima the bomb had 6 kiloton yield that is equivalent to 16000 tons of tnt blast the agni 5 is 12 to 19 times more powerful than the atom bomb used by us over hiroshima the range of agni 5 can be further extended in its present form with a slow burning propellant for a heavy load with a smaller warhead of 500 kg this will allow agni 5 to even hit target 10000 km away the agni 5 is a canisterized missile ejected with pressurized gas from a sealed canister before igniting its rocket motor this system is also known as cold launch system which reduces the thermal stress of hot rocket exhaust on the launch vehicle made up of margin steel a canister provides a hermetically sealed atmosphere that preserves the missile for years the agnifies canisterized road mobile system has significantly reduced the launch preparation times compared to the earlier systems The another notable feature of Agni-5 missile is SOC that is system on chip based on board computer which weighs just 200 grams and has 6 to 7 times greater processing capability than the earlier versions which was based on printed circuit board the older PCB system weighs close to 5 kilograms the SOC integrates the entire guidance of Agni-5 missile The missile uses a combination of ring laser gyro inertial navigation system and a micro inertial navigation system for guidance. For the first time, a redundant micro navigation system was used in Agni-5. This guidance along with its control system gives the missile double digit of accuracy. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this I would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector